I was on the verge of giving up completely. My childhood has been very rough for me. When I was four, my uncle told me that he didn't like me in my face. My dad wasn't really in my life. My mother, she struggled. She has five children. She's a single mom, and she works two jobs now. I'm always taking care of my mom or my siblings, and I've always had that responsibility. And I was catching the bus early, five o'clock in the morning, uh, trying to get to school on time. And mind you, I was trying to take my little brothers and sisters to school. And uh, my mom, she was trying to get to work, and I was juggling a job and taking care of her and my little brothers and sisters while I trying to do homework. It was very rough. The Memphis Ambassadors Program stepped in, and my teachers helped, and my grades rose to a 4.3 from a 2.1. And so I decided to um, create a club that would help students that were going through similar circumstances as I did. It was formed to help students with their academics, their self-esteem, leadership development, college and corporate readiness uh, in their community service. The inspiration behind his story is simply his willingness and being transparent in what he has lived and his ability to share that with others and inspire others. I wanted to help because I knew that they weren't acting out because of they just wanted to act out, but they were acting out because it was something going on in their life that they were trying to avoid or block out of their head, or they just simply didn't believe in themselves. Um, seeing DeSavian firsthand work with these kids, uh, be compassionate with them, it made me in turn realize I need to second guess myself when I want to, um, to get onto a child for, for not doing what I expect out of them, have a little bit more compassion for what they're going through. I had support systems and I had mentors and I had people all over. Memphis Ambassadors Program, my mom, my sisters and brothers that were looking up to me or that believed in me. Even when I wanted to give up, they wouldn't let me. They said, you are way smarter, you work hard, keep going. He's spontaneous, he has a great mind and head on his shoulders. He's learned a lot from his circumstances and he has a big heart that wants to give back to his community and to his friends. All of us have an opportunity to make excuses for why we cannot do certain things. And, and I don't see that in the Savior. He takes his, what he has, his talent and potential, and builds on it, and he doesn't let anything get in his way. Don't let your circumstance tackle you, but you tackle your circumstances. Don't let it be your setback. It's just to push you forward. It's just to make you stronger. It's for you to go to greater heights. A teacher showing compassion would be just as simple as you might be having an issue and you go out to school and they still there and they might have work to do or it might be time to put in grades and they set that aside and they come help you. That's all you can ask from, from a teacher, you know, not to be just saying, hey, this is what I need you to learn and then I'm right. done. I need, you know, that teacher that says, I'm going to help you every step of the way. I don't care how much, it, what it takes, I'm going to help you. and that's. That's the kind of teachers that really help students like me. Or, to be honest, I really don't know where I'd be. I probably wouldn't be standing right here today if it was not for those teachers. I was like this close to saying, you know what, it's not even worth it. <laughs> when I didn't have nobody to talk to, because my mom worked all day, so like, and my little brother and sister wouldn't understand. And so I had no really nobody to talk to about my problems. And before, I would just be quiet and hold it in. And, for them to say, you, you can do this, you've done this, you can do it, that's all that you really need and that's all the students look for.